Interactive Attribute Analysis is one of the key features in OpenDTEx. In this video you will learn how to evaluate attributes and their parameters. Let's start by adding an inline on which to perform our analysis. Right-click on the element in the tree and select the seismic data. To reduce computation times, make the element smaller and position it around the target zone. If necessary, make the color bar symmetrical. Now add a second container to the elements that will be used for the attribute analysis. Open the attribute set window by pressing the corresponding icon. In this window you define the attributes that once defined can be used for interactive calculations or for batch processing of attribute volumes. Let us define the energy attribute. Select energy from the list of available attributes Specify seismic data as input, give the attribute a name, and add it to the list of attributes in the set. Note that energy has only one parameter, the time window. The default is minus 28 to plus 28 milliseconds. But is this the best time window for our particular target? To investigate this, press the evaluate attribute icon. In this window we can calculate energy with different time windows. Let's calculate 10 energy attributes ranging from time gate 00 to minus 36 plus 36 milliseconds. Use the slider to movie style inspect the results. To compare the energy attribute with the seismic data, click the energy container on and off. If you accept a particular time window, the attribute definition is changed accordingly. In this case we consider minus 16 to plus 16 milliseconds the best time window. We can now add more attributes to our set and repeat the process, but in this tutorial we will save the attribute set so that it can be retrieved at a later stage. Now that we have an attribute set in memory, we can use the defined attributes throughout the system. For example, we can add other elements to the tree and calculate energy from the seismic data using a time window of minus 16 to plus 16 milliseconds as we do here on this cross line. Interactive attribute analysis is an excellent process for testing different scenarios on small target areas. For large volumes of data you will soon prefer calculating an attribute cube in batch mode up front. To process an attribute cube, go to Processing, Create Seismic Output Menu. Select the attribute you want to compute and store this in a new volume. This concludes this tutorial about Evaluate Attributes.